today I'm going to show you how to get a DS1242 to talk to an MQTT server. What would normally happen is an MQTT client would send a message to the MQTT broker who would then broadcast that message to everything on the network that was subscribed to that particular topic. In this case we want that to be our DS1242. Unfortunately the DS1242 does not talk directly to an MQTT broker. What we are going to have to do is put something between the MQTT broker and the DS1242 that will turn the messages from the MQTT broker into something the DS1242 can understand. To solve this, we can put node red between the MQTT broker and the DS1242. What we have set up is a small Linux server that has the Mosquito MQTT server and a copy of node red installed on it. This can be any Linux server from a powerful web server all the way down to a Raspberry Pi Zero that only costs a few pounds to buy. If you wish to set up Mosquito and Node-RED on your own server, there's already a wealth of videos explaining how to do this on YouTube, so we won't be covering that in this video. The first thing we are going to do is configure the DS1242. Make sure that the USB cable is plugged into your DS module, otherwise you won't be able to access the configuration menu. To access the configuration menu, we're going to need to know our module's IP address. If you do not know it, it can be found under the module menu of the Descript IDE. To access the configuration menu, simply launch your browser and type the IP address followed by forward slash underscore config.htm into the address bar. As we are using the module to communicate with Node-RED, we are going to need to know what kind of messages we're going to be sending and receiving, and where we're going to be sending them to. Drop down the TCP IP menu, and make sure that the command set is set to binary. Then drop down to the peer-to-peer -peer menu. For this example, we will be using input D2 to trigger messages to be sent to the server that Node-RED is running on. These messages will be interpreted by Node-RED and then used to forward MQTT messages to the MQTT broker. The target IP should be the IP address of the server that Node-RED is installed on. The target port can be anything you like. In this case we're using port number 1234. Target relay and target action should both be set to 1. The TCP IP timeout can be left at 5000 and make sure the use AES checkbox is left unchecked. Once all of this is configured, we are ready to start writing our flow in Node-RED. To access Node-RED, put your server's IP address into the address bar, followed by a semicolon and 1180. The module is configured to send messages to the Node-RED server. This message will be a set relay command that can be understood by any other DS module. We can receive this message into Node-RED by adding a TCP input into our flow and setting its port to match the port that the DS1242 is sending the message on. In this case, 1234. Now we need a function that will check the message and convert it into the message that we wish to broadcast out to the MQTT server. Drop a function onto our flow and connect the TCP input to its input node. We can name this function anything, but in this case we will call it check message. The content of the function should first check that the message we are receiving is of the correct type. And then check that the relay being set is the one we expect. In this case, relay number 1. Next, it should check the state that that relay should be set to and return the appropriate value. In this case, a string containing the number 1 or 0 for on or off. Next we can use an MQTT output to broadcast this return value to anything listening to a topic that we choose to broadcast on. Drop an MQTT output onto the flow and then connect the output of the function we just wrote to the input of this MQTT output. 
Make sure that QoS is set to zero and the retain is set to true. Now set the topic that we will broadcast to. We will set this to DS1242 forward slash relay1. We will then set the name of this node to relay1. This name can be anything that you choose. As the DS module will be expecting a response from another DS module after sending its message, we will need another function connected to the output of the check message function. This function we will call respond. Inside the function, we will simply set the payload of the message to zero. Now drop a TCP output onto the flow and connect it to the output of the respond function. Set the TCP output to respond to TCP. Next we will configure node red to receive a message from our MQTT broker and forward it onto our module. First drop an MQTT input node onto the flow. Set the topic to the same one we set our previous MQTT output to in this case ds1242 forward slash relay1. Make sure that QoS is set to zero and then name the node whatever you want to. In this case we will name it relay1. Next drop a function onto the flow that we will use to convert an MQTT message into a command to set the state of a relay on our module. We will name this function convert. If an incoming message is a string containing the number one then we will turn on Relay1, otherwise we will turn Relay1 off. The command to set the state of a relay on a Descript module is a 7-byte command. The first byte, hex31, is the set relay command. The second byte is the relay number we wish to set, in this case 1. The third is the state we wish to set the relay to, 1 for on and 0 for off. The next four bytes are timing bytes, that are not used in this example. Lastly, place a TCP output onto the flow and connect its input to the convert function's output. Set its port and IP address to the port and IP address of our module. In this case, 17123 and an IP of 192.168.0.49. Then we will name it DS1242 forward slash relay1. Once this is done, click deploy, and now when you put a connection across input 2, relay1 will toggle accordingly.